Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets iOS 14 iPhone and iPad tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add multiple photo widgets to your home screen on your iPhone or iPad. So as you can see here, I have three different photo widgets, and all of these are albums, so they will cycle through different photos as time goes on. So it's actually really easy to do this, and the first thing we need to do is open up the App Store and download and install an app called Widgetsmith. Now check the description. I'll have a direct link down there. So you just click that. It'll open up the app in the app store and then you can get it downloaded and installed. Once you get Widgetsmith installed and you open it up, you'll see they have three different types of widgets, small, medium, and large. And they also have some pre-configured widgets here. Now you can quickly delete the pre-made widgets by just sliding from right to left and selecting delete. But we can also just edit them by selecting them. So the first thing we're gonna do in the Widgetsmith app is just simply select the small number one widget. And then in here, select default widget. So the first thing we need to do is select the style. And this is where we need to tell it that we want a photo widget. So just scroll down until you see custom, and then you should see photo and then photos and album. Now you can do photo and that'll just select one photo on your phone or your iPad to show in that widget. I like to do photos and album because then it cycles through an album that I selected. So this first example, I'll do photo, and then the other examples, when I make a widget, I'll use photos and album. So let's go ahead and select photo. Then at the bottom, we need to select selected photo, and then choose photo. Then all you need to do is find the photo you want to add to the widget on your phone in your camera roll, and select it. After that, in the top left, select the back button, and then select save in the top right. So now we have our first widget created, which is small number one. Next, we'll create a medium, and I'm just going to use the default medium number one and edit that, so I'll select it. Then I'll select default widget. And then in here, in the style, I need to go through, go down to custom, and then I'll select photos and album, so you get an example of what it's like to select an album. You'll need to give access to Widgetsmith to access your photos, so I'm going to select allow access to all photos. Once I do that, at the bottom, selected album, I need to select that. And then it will show me a list of all the albums on my phone. Now I just need to find the one I want to add. So I'll do Joshua Tree National Park. Once I have it selected, select the back button in the top left, and then select Save. Now I'm going to add one more small widget, so I'll select Add Small Widget. It'll add one, small number two. I'll select small number two, and then I'll select Default Widget. From here in Style, I need to scroll down until I get to Custom, and you either select Photo or Photos in Album. I'll select photos and album. Then at the bottom, I select selected album and find my desired album for this photo widget. I'll do Laguna Beach. Once I have it selected, select the back button in the top left and then save in the top right. So now I have multiple small widgets and one medium widget. Now that we have our widgets configured, we can go to our home screen and start adding them to our home screen. And to add widgets, all we need to do is long press the background of the home screen, so an area where there isn't an app, then select the plus symbol. It should either be in the top right or the top left of your phone or iPad. Select that. And then in here, all we need to do is find Widget Smith. If you don't see it in the available widgets below, use the search widgets at the top and just type widget. And you should see it come up. So there's Widget Smith. Select that. Once it comes up, then select the size of the widget you created. So I'll do small and then select add widget. And then as you can see, it has added the widget to my home screen. To add another one, I'm just going to hit the plus symbol again, search widget smith, and then I will add the medium widget that I created. So select add widget. And as you can see, that one has been created. But now I'm going to add another small widget. So it'll be two small widgets. So I'm going to hit the plus symbol again. Then I'll search for widget smith, add the small one. And as you can see, they're the same. So to select the second widget that I created, all I need to do is select one of the small widgets. And then in here, select widget. And then as you can see, there are two small widgets available. So I'll switch this one to number one. Now all I need to do is select the area that is not this menu, so the area above. And then there you go, I have three different photo widgets on my home screen. So that's how you add multiple photo widgets to your home screen in iOS 14 on an iPad or iPhone. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more iOS 14 iPhone and iPad tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.